5.3 million dollars? Easy money, chump change. A 5.3 billion dollar corporation? Have you ever seen my channel? Zen TV. That's right. Hold up, I'll talk to you later. Come in. Can come in, boss? Come in, come in. Good morning, boss. Good morning. Um, What's on the agenda? Uh, today we have coffee with KP. We have stock music. Rishi talks. Listen, I don't cut to the chase. Which has the highest TRP? Rishi talks has been having the highest TRP rating. Okay. Uh, we're getting a lot of uh, positive feedback from you. This. I know. Go get it. Yes, boss. Thank you. So, adrenogenital syndrome, also known as congenital adrenal hyperplasia, is an endocrine condition caused by abnormalities in the secretion of adrenal androgens. What is adrenal androgen, doctor? Adrenal androgen is a sex hormone produced by the adrenal cortex, which is the outermost part of adrenal gland. <laughs> A pair of adrenal gland, also called as suprarenal gland, lies at top of the kidney. Adrenal consists of two distinct endocrine glands, inner adrenal medulla, outer adrenal cortex. Adrenal medulla forms 20% of the total gland, which develops from neuroectodermal tissue. Adrenal cortex forms about 80% of the gland, develops from mesodermal tissue, secretes steroid hormones. Consists of three layers, zona glomerulosa, that secretes mineralocorticoids, aldosterone. Zona fascicularis secretes glucocorticoids like cortisol. Zona reticularis which secretes sex steroid, dehydroepiandrosterone and androstenedione. How are you? I am not feeling good doctor. What happened ma? What's the problem? I am getting a lot of pimples, excessive hair growth on my face and body. I often feel exhausted. How about your menstrual cycle? Is it regular? No doctor, it isn't. Do you feel dizzy? Yes. Later, please do the following test and meet a gynecologist. Okay ma'am, thank you. Did you go through her report? So what's the diagnosis? Yes ma'am, I did. This is a case of congenital adrenal hyperplasia, a group of hereditary abnormalities affecting the adrenal gland. Can you tell me what are the causes of CAH? The most common causes of CAH are the genetic deficiency of the enzyme 21 hydroxylase and less commonly due to the genetic deficiency of the enzyme 11 hydroxylase. We'll just see about the normal regulation. The hypothalamus will secrete the CRH, will in turn act on the pituitary for the release of ACTH. This ACTH will go and act on the adrenal cortex which will secrete the cortisol. The cortisol hormone will in, in turn give the negative feedback mechanism to the hypothalamus and pituitary which will result in the decreased secretion of CRH and ACTH. In the deficiency of 21-hydroxylase, the cortisol and aldosterone production are 
less and the androgen production will be more. Let us consider this lift as the adrenal gland. The 21 hydroxylase enzyme will convert the 17 hydroxy progesterone into the 11 deoxycortisol. It will also help in the conversion of progesterone into 11 deoxycorticosterone. The corticosterone and the aldosterone, which are released, will in turn help in the regulation of the androgens. In the absence of the corticosterone and aldosterone due to the efficiency of 21 hydroxylase, the androgen will increase and hence lead to the syndrome. Just look into the reports and tell me your findings. Symptoms include hypotension, hypoglycemia, dehydration, poor feeding, weight loss, diarrhea, vomiting, arrhythmia, metabolic acidosis. So basically there are two types of CAH. One is classical and other one is non-classical. Classical is usually found in infants and it can be screened by using prenatal genital testing and chronic wellness sampling. Non-classical is usually found during adult stage. And it can be screened by using blood tests, urine tests, physical examination and genital testing. So basically treatment is given by three supplements. First one is salt supplements, second one glucocorticoid supplements and third one is mineralocorticoid supplements. Glucocorticoids is given to replace the cortisol hormone whereas mineralocorticoids is given to replace the aldosterone hormone. Is there a uh, cure The disease can't be co completely cured but on early exposure it can be controlled by giving these three supplementations for the whole life. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The disease can be completely cured, but on early diagnosis, it can be controlled by giving supplementations for whole life. And prevention, it can be prevented, but for betterment, you can avoid interfamily marriages.